Good morning, everyone. I am Katie Johnson, Artistic Director of the New York State Ballet, and I am here with Associate Artistic Director Robert Royce. Um, in response to this catastrophe, uh, coronavirus, we have had to close our doors for the next two weeks in compliance with the government, and it has been incredibly humbling to have so many of you reach out to me directly and how you can support the arts. And so today we are going to bring you a master class taught by Robert Royce. And we are welcoming all in the dance community across both, both in the area and across the US and, and beyond to join us this morning for a live stream for the next 90 minutes. Um, if you're able to, we're asking for donations, not just for the sake of the New York State Ballet, but for any and all artists and arts organizations. These types of things do cripple and handicap the things you love and enjoy most, and we want to make sure the art of ballet thrives from here on out. So please join us this morning. We hope you share all of your posts and take the class with us. And if you're able to, um, you can donate to us by visiting us at newyorkstateballet.org and donating through our donor box, or you can call us directly this morning at 585-704-1903. Any charitable donation we greatly appreciate. Thanks, Katie. Hey guys, so um, hello to all of our students here from New York State Ballet, and thank you everyone who responded last night when we posted this. Um, it's amazing how large our community is. Um, we do what we love. This is the most amazing thing that we all can find in ourselves to be able to give to back to our communities. And in a time like this, our community, we realize is really huge. So all of our friends across the US and further, thank you for being here. We very much appreciate your time. Um, and let's do class, you know, it's what we do. It's in the times of crisis, you know, it's going back to the things you know. So follow along. So my level threes, my young level threes at New York State Ballet's Training Academy. If you're there watching, we're gonna do combinations that might be a little over your head, but you know how to do the basic steps in them right, all right? So you sit there, you simplify the combination and you do those steps right, yeah? Just like we talk about in class every day, we work from posture, and then move forward through movement, yes? All right, so come along with us, all right? Here we go. Plies will be simple today. We do demi and up and demi and up through the right foot. Demi and up and left foot and up. Ground plie and tendu to second. Ground plie, one, two, three, four. Reversing the arm, five. Six, seven, eight. Let's turn in today. Two, three, four. Up through the spine. Five, six. Tendu. We go to fifth. Demi goes one, two, and three, four. Grand plie. Five, six, seven, and eight. Regular forward and back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll tendu to first. Plie, heels up, knees straighten up to your knee, to your feet at that height. Balance in first, yes? Two demis in first, through the right foot, through the left, grand plie, tendu to second. Two grand pliés in second, turn in, stretch forward, take your time. We've all been on the couch for a day or two. Gotta get our bodies moving again. Fifth, two demis in a grand, forward and back, tendu to first, roll up and balance. And away we go.
standing in your kitchen, standing in your living room, making sure at the top of plie that we're not letting our back sway, that we keep everything placed. Yes, let's do the other side.
this is a new adventure for all of us, right? This whole like live stream, you're taking class, corrections are odd. I don't have personal corrections to give you. But as we come back up in that last elevate, make sure that we're not bringing our back into it. Yes, move the arms independent of the back, yeah? Use your floor, whatever floor that may be. Yes, here we go, other side. you do yeah so truly unlike me right now you get to dance like no one's watching I know it's all cliche and all of that please reach all of the apoma in the world yes you can use all of that right now investigate it figure it out find something new in your dancing while you have this time yeah from fifth Reach and close and close and close. Reach and close and close and close to the hole. Close. Hole. Close. Hole. Close. Hole. Close. Coupe. Switch to the back. Ready. Hole. Close and close and close. Hole. Close and close and close. Tongue. With the arm. To the side, close and close, and side, close and close, yes? Reach, and close and close, reach, close and close and close to the back, close and close and close to the back, to the side, close, side, close, coupe, switch, then we reverse, yes? With the arm and head, please. Sound check. Side leg, then the inside leg. This is the habit. 
Yeah, across the board, it's the one that happens to almost everybody at some point. Close and close. Keep the new supporting leg rotated against the working leg. Had to check myself on that. Haven't watched myself take class in a long time. Big mirror behind you guys. You guys can't see it. Scary moments. Yes, <laughs> making sure all the way through our dance career that we do the simple things that we have to check on. Yeah, make your checklist, keep your checklist. Yes, here we go, other side. Sense. Yes, while you're sitting there in your in your apartment, in your house, make sure that you're trying all these accents to get there in account and close. How sharp can you be as a dancer? Yes? Degache is facing the bar. In first. And in, and two, and three, and four, and out, and plie, and out, and close. Out, plie, and out, and close, and in. Out, plie, and out, and close, and out, plie, other foot, and close. On releve, yes? Out, and in, and two, and three, and four, and out, plie, and out. In, two, three, four, out, plie, and up. In. Out, plie, and up. Out, plie, other foot, on releve, and close. Yes? We'll do right side, left side, right side, left side. me do this remember Rob hasn't taken class in a long time yeah as we come through the plie get into your plie use your legs use the bottom of your plie yeah from there not just through the foot but through the knee and the foot to push back don't forget about that knee all right often we think so much about our feet but we can get into this crook leg place yes all the way through the straight leg, through the foot, through the knee, through the foot, and out. Yes? Dang chase from fifth.
All right, time to have a little bit of fun. If you've taken my class before, most of you have seen this. Good luck. Yes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. And one and two and three. Inside like two, three, four, four. Three. One, two, and one. Reversing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, three, one, two, and one. One to the front, hold, hold. One, two to the back, three to the side, four inside leg. Four to the back, three inside leg, two to the side, one front. One, then two, then three, then four, then four, Three, two, and one. Front, back, side, front. Yes. Do we have? One more time. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, four. Three, two, and one. Yes? Then reverse. Good luck. Here we go. your hips, yes? All right, here we go, other side. Play some music, take a moment and stretch, do your splits, work through your legs, do everything you need before we do ronda jumps. Take this time. 
time now to focus on one thing, one thing that's gonna make your dancing better. It's a huge, a huge step forward, yes? We never get that time. In class, it's this correction, that correction, all the stuff, we're trying to make all the picture. Now we get to work on the one part of that, yeah? All right, round of jumps. Start with envelope, yes? Plie and fit. Through fifth plie and fit. Through fifth plie and fifth. Passe plie, round de jump. One, two, three, and four. With the arm goes five. Six, seven, close back, eight. Plie one and two, goes three and four. Thigh comes back and thigh goes back. Plie round, four round de jumps. Three more round de jumps with the arm, close front. Circular port de bras down and around into the bar, reversing the circular port de bras around. Plie, passe balance. Yes? So circular port de bras at the end, reverse the circular port de bras. Plie, passe eight balance. You can do circular port de bras on four counts or eight counts. I'll never know. Yes? <laughs> do what you feel is right. If you just need a little bit, if you need a lot, take your time on that. Yes? The thigh moving back in Ronde Jam and keeping the supporting side quiet. Really feel like this is an isolated movement that rotates one leg against the other side. Yes? Here we go. Plie down, passe, fit. Plie through the foot, passe, fit. The knees move east and west. Don't let them move forward. Keep it back.
The leg and the arms, everything arrives. And finish. So, fondues, yes? Fondue dégagé and a fondue 45 and a fondue 90. Plie sous sous to the side. Fondue dégagé, hey. Fondue 45, fondue 90 and plie sous sous to the back. Fondue dégagé. Fondue 45, fondue 90 and plie sous sous. Fondue dégagé, hey. Fondue 45, fondue 90, and plie sous sous. Yeah? Dégagé, 45 and 90. These are three places that our body needs to know, yes? We need to make sure that every time we are at dégagé height, we know exactly where it is for our body. 45 degrees, the same thing, exactly where it is for our body. So, many steps, Use these heights in different ways. Petit jeté, dégagés, yes? Soda basque, depending on the timing and the height. 45 or 90. 90 is great if you can get your body on top of it. But 45 is where we can get speed for a double soda basque, yes? Same with double assemblé or tour jeté, uh, entour le 90 degree, 90 degree, yes? Knowing these heights in our bodies, not just in our brains. Yeah, our body needs to be smarter than our brain is. All right, here we go. Especially to the back. Don't close your feet. Close the top of your leg and get your placement back to where it needs to be. Everything, yet again, just like the passe, arrives at once, all right? Making those connections. So, if this was a slower, slower combination, from here, the body and the leg have to close at the same pace. Since we're closing fast, everything closes and arrives at once. Same thing happens if you're moving slower. When we get to adagio, same thing. From here, everything has to move at the same time. Not one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. Everything at once, yes? Here we go, second side. Resistance, plie 
Okay, everything at once. Last time side. Good. Shake it out, folks. Shake it out for a second. So, frappes now. Yes? Now we've moved our legs through all of the fondue, through the melt, working our placement. Now we gotta keep this in frappe. Two and a round de jambe. Yes, just a quarter round de jambe each time. One, two, round. And a side in two and round. And a back in two and round. Petit bat ma and seven, eight. Two, round. Side, two, round. Two, round. Petit bat ma and seven, releve. One, two, and two, to the back. Two, to the side, petit bat ma and seven, eight, and one, two, around. Two, two, around. Three, two, around. Petit bat ma and seven, eight. At the end, we'll close susu, coupe with the inside leg, and go up into attitude balance. Yes? Here we go. Not too fast, yes? that we always talk about, all your teachers. Fondue means to melt, it has this lavishness, even at a faster tempo, right? And out. Frappe, we need to do the exact opposite. Go back to the meanings of the words, to strike. Strike, strike. Now this Rana Jean, we want in the same feeling. One, two, wow. Arrive, now, arrive should not go arrive, yes? Arrive, both sides have to work in opposition to make that stable. All right, here we go, other side. One, two, arrive. Two, two, arrive. Three, two, arrive. Petit by my five, six, seven, to the back, back. Two, arrive. Two, two, get it. Get it, petit by my five, six, now relevant. One, two, show. Think both sides rotate. Rotate. Petit bat ma and seven and eight. All right. All right. All right. Petit bat ma and seven and eight. Close susu. Inside leg. Arm and hand move to the position. Simultaneous movement. Now we're here in this balance. We extend. And then everything in our pelvis and our body closes to one straight line. Home base, you always gotta come back to home base, that one straight good posture line, yeah? It happens especially when we're in an arabesque line, yes? We get into the arabesque line and then our shoulders stay back. We need our shoulders over the hip bones, yes? Do anatomy, hip bones, not the hips, not back in here, not on the sides of the body but forward over the hip bones. Yes, the two big bones in the front, making sure that we get there. Yes, let's do a simple adagio today. So, port de bras 
forward. One, two, three, four. Bev will pay five, six, seven, eight to the side. One, two, three, four. Dev will pay side five, six, seven, eight to the back. One, two, three, four. Dev will pay back six, seven, eight. Last one's just Dev will pay side two, three. Fuente into the bar on your arabesque line whatever your bar may be, your kitchen counter. Take the arms off the bar and balance, yes? Porter bra for four counts, devil pay for four counts. Front, side, back. Devil pay, alisagon, fuete into the bar, yes? Lift the leg and close, all right? Making sure every time I want the arm in fifth, just because it's harder, yes? All right, here we go. especially in arabesque line at the same time. Grandbama, the leg works against the back. Unfortunately, not all of us are super, super, super flexy that we can keep our back upright and the leg will just go up and hit the back of our head, yeah? So, Batma, everything arrives. The pelvis gets back to fifth before the feet do. If you let the feet go first, we're out of alignment. Yet the pelvis back, yes? Two on quad with the appropriate arm and head, yes? We do. Uh -oh. Fifth. Uh -oh. Fifth. Quiet supporting side. Fifth. Uh -oh. Fifth. To the back. Control the pelvis. And fifth side. Let's passe balance again. Passe goes up. One motion. You should let go of the bar right now. Take the chance. Take the chance. The worst thing is you're going to fall over. Nobody's going to see it. Yes? All right. Take chances today, yeah? Here we go, other side. Uh-oh, fifth, uh-oh, fifth. 
So please, you guys, as we continue through class, if you're there with your couple of people that you should be around at the time, videotape yourself taking class. Yeah, take, take a little snippet, take a picture, post on our, on our social media, post on your social media. In this time, we're all artists and we're all trying to like see how far we can make our reach. Artists will always find a way. It is the best thing I think about us. No matter what, as artists, we will find a way to create art. Yeah? So take the time. Post on our social media. Post on your social media. Yeah? Just keep the art alive in us. It can get really hard when we're all sitting on the couch all the time. Yeah? All right? We got not, don't have a lot of things to do right now. Put it out there on social media and let, let us keep bringing this art to each other. All right? We're going to share it amongst ourselves where we usually share it amongst the audiences that come see us, you know? We are preparing for Wizard of Oz here in Rochester. Uh, wizard, yes, a little bit of green for the Emerald City, yes. And we're, we're having fun with the show. Um, of course, with all of this, it takes time, but we really don't get a chance to, to come in the studio and rehearse the way that we have been. So what you need to be doing in your own house is like keeping that art alive in yourself. You know, post these things, share it with friends. You'll hear from a thousand people. It's been wonderful. Just last night we posted about this class and all of a sudden all these friends of mine who some of them I haven't talked to in a long time are, are coming out of the woodwork. Thank you guys for that. Us artists supporting artists is one of the most important things. Yes, our community supporting artists is the second. Yes, all right, so let's do a little bit of center. Two different schools of thought. I think this one is clearer for your audience, but if you're a natural turner, sometimes just getting to the position quicker is easier. Here we go. We do. Reach and close and close and reach and close and close and second plie. Pirouette arms down. Finish. 
Reach, close and close. Reach, close and close. Side plie, pa boomerang. Pirouette arms down now with the arms high. And reach, close and close and reach. Close and close and second plie, pa boomerang. Arms and fifth. And close and up. Close and close, reverse. Nutcracker in the middle of uh, March, yeah. So, for this combination, I really would like to see, you would really like to see yourself. All right. Close and close. And both of those closes are arrives too. All right, and hold, arrive fifth, arrive fifth. Yes, don't cheat yourself and bounce fifth. Fifth is like our home base. Fifth is our precious little thing that we need as, as dancers. The audience isn't going to sit there and go, oh, that was the most beautiful fifth I've ever seen. Most of them aren't gonna do that. But we need it to stay balanced and, and have a place of stability to come back to. If you let the leg bounce, we're starting to question where that is. Gentlemen, double tours. Ladies, pirouettes to fifth. All of these things that have to end and be stable. We have to memorize, physically memorize that position. The other part, Coordination and timing as you get to a more advanced level. These are the two things that usually are messed up. If we're not coordinated or if our timing doesn't match the coordination we're trying. So the leg goes out and then the arms are still here. Think about that if you're cabriole. You go up to cabriole and your arms are only here. You haven't reached the position. We haven't displayed the full line. Line is so important as we create art in, in dance. Yes, line beyond our own personal body, yes? So we have to make everything arrive at the same time. Now it doesn't get stagnant. Arrive and let it grow as you move, yes? One more time this. So moving on to an adagio. So I do a lot of movement. For those of you who know my class, we like move around a lot. Um, so figuring out if you're standing in, you know, your 10 by 10 kitchen, I can't do a lot of movement. So we're gonna do an adagio that I'm trying to maintain. If you need to alter any of this, it's still ballet class. And trust me, I know all of you dancers are sitting in there going wanting to do exactly right. Alter it if you're gonna kick the microwave, okay? Yeah? Don't kick the microwave. Devlete, écarté derrière. Wherever your front is, this is great teaching time. Wherever your front is, define that front. Then use your, your body lines, yes? Don't just go gray on it. Know where your front is and then create your écarté line, yes? Écarté derrière, Devlete, one, and two, three, and four, fuete goes five, starts promenading, six, and seven, and eight. Plie, pas de bourre. Développe to the front, plie, pas de bourre. Passe, and down, 
two, two, and down. Double pay. One and two, three and four. Fuerte goes five. Search promenading six, seven, and eight. Plie and two. Double pay to the front. Three. Plie four. Pas de bourre. Five and six. Passe. Let's use one arm. Same arm as leg. At the end of that, we'll pour the bra forward. Two, three, sorry, pour the bra forward. One, two, three, four. Pour the bra back, five, six. Release the leg on plie, seven, eight. Pique passe. Close other side. Then we'll do the other side. One, two, three, four. Going back, five, six. Release and plie, seven, eight. Pique passe. And close. That same arrive in PK as we do from plie fifth. Let's mark this one. into the ground, yes? We need to make sure that we know exactly where we are. Making sure that we stabilize our leg into the ground and making sure that we always know where our standing leg is. That's what's most important, is our standing leg for us. Yes? So we have to make sure that that standing leg is there for us.
Yeah, making sure that this, sorry, there's 10 million things at once. Trying to make sure this is always stable. Try it, try just standing there on one standing leg and making sure that the other leg is simple and working. Yeah, you don't want your working leg to ever affect your standing leg, yeah? Does that make sense? I hope so, all right? Let's do a little pirouette. We're gonna go simple though. Tom base, pas de bourre, fourth, on the pirouette, two, fourth. We can do this probably in a 10 foot space, yes? Tom base, pas de bourre, fourth, on the pirouette, two, fourth. Tom du back, two, fourth, on the dom pirouette, two, fifth. We go other side, or same side, or take a break and come back and do it again. We're gonna play it for a while so that you guys can figure out how not to kick the microwave. Yes? Tombe, pas de bourre, fourth. Ande or pirouette, two, fourth. Tendu back, two, fourth. Inside pirouette, two, fifth. Yes? Listening once, yeah? Finding music, hold on. Mark it, yes. Tom, how to break fourth. On the or pirouette, two, four. I'm gonna slow it down a little. Inside pirouette, two, fifth. Same side, other side, or what you need. On the or pirouette, fourth. Tom, on your back, fourth. Inside pirouette, two, fifth. Again, yes? So, I'm gonna let this music play. Sorry, I keep on walking up to the camera. I can talk to you. I'm gonna let this music play for a bit, yes? So, you can do it as many times as you like. Just keep on repeating wherever you can. Now, pirouettes. This is gonna be really imperative when you're dancing. So, if you're on carpet, be very careful. Yes, carpet's gonna grab your shoe, it's gonna hold on. Yes? Please don't wear point shoes. I probably shouldn't need to say that, but somebody might be going for it. Yes, uh, scary on linoleum, scary on carpet. Yes, all right. So as you, as you prep for your pirouette, it's not like being on the Marley floor. You wanna make sure you're connected to the ground. Do not jump, push. Push to a fully straight leg, expand. Feel like your leg drives in a corkscrew down into the floor while your body is rotating the other way. Yeah, holding the turnout really is where you're stabilizing it from. This side's turning around, you're turning around to the right, let's say. If you let that leg go, you're gonna end up spinning out of control. You have to resist the turn with your supporting leg, yes? Stabilizing it into the ground. The lack of friction, because you're only on the ball of the foot, will help you turn, yeah? All right, here we go, again and again, guys. or a fourth get there fighting to find that finish is where your body learns so much about muscle 
Yes? If you let yourself take the extra steps, that's what you're teaching your body. If you fight for the fifth, fight for it. Fight for finding that muscle that makes that work, yeah? All right, let's do a few small jumps. Super so on your cut, super so on your cut. First and fifth and first and fifth. Second and fifth and second and fifth. En bois ten, two, three. Assemble. Super so on your cut, super so on your cut. Yes? Small. This is about working through the legs and feet and back through the legs and feet. Yes? Making sure that we're not. Jump, we don't need to jump super, super high. None of that, none of that is needed, yes? No jumping super high. This is about working the legs and feet, working through. You don't have the best of floors sitting there. We have our strong floor here. You know the difference, yeah? You know how your legs will feel different. This is just about working the feet, yes? Feet and legs, making sure that we keep that in our muscle memory. Jump first, fifth, first, fifth. Second, fifth, second, fifth. Ambote switches legs. One, two, three. Assemble. Subra so, on chicot. Subra so, on chicot. Yes? Then we do the other side. Here we go. First, fifth, first, fifth. Ah, a little peppy, ain't it? We're gonna slow that down just a little bit. Here we go. First and fifth and first and fifth then second and fifth then second and fifth then a one, two, three, assemble. So let's slow that down a little more. Here we go. Let's try this one last time. First and fifth and first and fifth then second and fifth then second and fifth. One, two, three, assemble. Super so we should got super so on the got. First, fifth, fifth, second, fifth, second, fifth. I'm with a two, three, assemble. Up and a cut, up and a cut. Yes? Shake it out. We're gonna do that one last time, yes? It's gonna be the last thing that we do for the day. I don't want any bigger jumps than this on whatever floor you're on, yeah? All right? Last time, best time, yes? All the things that you've worked on in class today. Keeping your placement keeping your rotation of both sides against each other, yes? Keeping all of that put together, all right? Take a second, think about all the things you wanna do, we do it one last time, yeah? And away we go. First, jump fifth, then first, then fifth, second, second, I'm gonna take one, Assemble super so on your cut, super so on your cut. First, first, second, second. One, two, three, assemble. And a cut, super so and a cut. Finish in a strong fifth. If you're like me, you just went, woo, yes. All right, guys, thank you very, very much for class today, yes? It was a pleasure being able to do this, you know? We're in a, a really kind of crazy time, you know? We're all figuring out how to best deal with all of this stuff that's going on. It's amazing to me how many arts communities are, are trying to figure out a way to keep this art alive. It, it means so much to me to see artists 
being proactive in, in making our community still thrive. It's amazing, yes? These communities, these artists, organizations like New York State Ballet and so many across the U.S. are only here with the support of our community. Not just our community locally, but our global arts community. You have a, you have a company in your hometown. If you're, if you're in Arizona or if you're in California or you know, Ohio or West Virginia, you have an arts community in your hometown. Support them. This time is very, very scary for a lot of arts communities, for a lot of arts organizations, but we are dedicated to keep art coming out. Yes, when all this is said and done, it is the artists that will come back and entertain you and enlighten you and inspire you. So take the moments that you can, give what you can. Support the arts organizations in your own town. Support us, you know, we will be here as soon as this is done. Wizard of Oz will go on. We will figure out a way to make things happen. Arts organizations will jump forward as soon as this is over to make art. And the artists are the ones who are suffering in a lot of ways now also. Um, there's been company closures across the US, yeah? Um, just for the time being, but it, it, hits, it hits especially the young artists in the economics. Please support them. They will be back as soon as they can. They don't wanna be away now <laughs> creating art and giving that to you, giving that to your community. Look around, see what's local, see what's online, see what you can do in your community to support all of these artists who want only one thing, to be able to do their art and bring it to you. So we move forward, always forward, okay? Thank you guys.